Next song is Last Kiss by Pearl Jam. Thank you for the suggestion. So diving right in, I'll show you the full sort of open chords and a one finger method. So it sounds like this, it's really based around these four sort of chords repeating in this pattern. You start with a G, then an E minor, and then a C, then a D. Then it starts again, but it's slightly different. G, E minor, C, D, and finishing on a G. So second time through the progression, it's slightly longer. And strumming would sound like this. Now, if you're just using one finger, I would have your first finger on the third fret of the sixth string. So that's your G, so treat that as like a, the root note of the G chord. Then you could just play open sixth string. Then you could play third fret, fifth string. Then same string, move up to the fifth fret. So, E. Once you could do that, I would try and turn it into power chords. Once you can do that, then the open chord. So full G like this. E minor. C. D. Or even sort of mix it up. Maybe just try focusing on one chord. So just, if you could just get the G. You can take all your fingers off except for your first finger and then you've got the E. And then for C, you could just move it up a fret. And then move up two frets again for the D. Practice the one finger and the open chords at the same time. Maybe pick one chord each different practice session. Have a lot of fun. It's such a great song to strum through. Thank you for the suggestion.